X's. You put that X right here and you, wherever you go away from it, that's what you're going to restrict. And that's all that this does here. All right. Now I'm going to show you the quick way, since it's not in the notes, we'll show it this way and this is what we test it on. Okay. Um, and it's pretty much the elbow version of the knee tape job that we showed you that was FYI. Remember how that was continuous and then we just made X's on the collateral sides, median lateral. That's all this is going to be. It's going to be um, anchor and then X's on this side and just continuous. All right. A little bit more comfortable, a um, little bit more functional as well. You can make the restricted range of motion up to here if you want to or just close to full extension. And that depends on, on the position. We've had some old linemen that had a serious hyperextension and we, we taped them up to here so we couldn't move up to here. That took them out of the painful range. This was like a grade two like capsule strain, bicep strain. And it worked for his position because once he comes up, then he's always like this anyways. All right, it limited some movements, but this was basically what he needed to do. All right, and instead of his three point stance here, he just went up here, that was about it, and then boom. All right, whereas we had another DB a couple times, he hyperextended it and he still needed to reach out. So rather than strip straight extension, we limited it to right here, so it locked, okay? So one thing, just a disclaimer too, um, we're not doing this, I, I never do like the anchor, anchor, make the X and then re-anchor. Um, as a personal preference, one, again, if, if you work with us as a student trainer or 454, um, this is how you're gonna get tested. All right, we need to test you. You have to do it one way for 361. We got it, mark something. If you go out there and you work with, uh, with the team, um, there's three, I don't care how you do a tape job. If it's comfortable, all right, and it's not restricting circulation and it's comfortable, there's one thing. If it's doing what it's supposed to do, restrict hyperextension, and if it's allowing them to play the position and it does those three things, I don't care how you do it, all right? Um, once you finish this class and you want to be a student trainer, I don't care how you do your heel locks as long as it's doing those three things, all right? So the whole disclaimer for that, the reason why I said is um, anchor, anchor with the fan, that's just as good. It, it can achieve those three principles, all right? But this one I feel is better. We'll show you it, just give you more tools in the toolbox. But just know that if you ever want to do anchor, anchor, and fan, and then re-anchor, that's, that's all cool in the game, all right? But uh, we'll just, you know, think outside the box here and just do it this way. So again, Elbow hyperextension, you get out here, boom, hyperextension, you'll, you can strain the capsule or the bicep right here, all right? Or you have a bicep strain and you hyperextend and there's that pain there. So what we want to do is limit that extension, okay? So all we want to do is simple taping principles again, spray it, make sure there's no allergies, make sure there's no cut, cover all the cuts. Spray it with tough skin back and forth, okay? And same as with the knee. Put a heel and lace pad here at the elbow just because it's going to rub on, on that part there, okay? Um, on the skin is best, okay? Um, I'm going to put her up here now because since she's not sweating or whatnot, this can tear the skin once you take it off after five minutes, all right? But ideally, you want it on the skin because after sweating on it for three, uh, one and a half to two hours, it's going to be easy to take off. It just put it on you. It's going to be sticky, okay? So... Again, ideally, and then for the exam, again, you can use ProRap if you want, but again, Sabrina and I are testing for restriction here. If your ProRap's on here and it's sliding, and it's like an Allen Iverson elbow sleeve, all right, then it's not, you're losing that marks, no matter what, all right? So it's gotta be functional. For the purpose of the exam, again, we suggest to use, uh, go right on the skin to get those marks, okay? All right, so for here, this is just for demonstrating though, okay? Okay, so your landmarks pretty much uh, mid-belly of uh, the bicep, okay? And right around um, upper third of the, uh, of, of the like, bulk of the forearm. You know how the forearm is the bulk's pretty much on the upper two-thirds? So go right in mid that. You know, it's like your forearms here, it's a bit bony, all right? Here you got that bulk, okay? So all we're gonna do is, since it's gonna expand, all right, we don't wanna constrict the bicep, so once they do it, just in terms of athlete position, get them to uh, bend, the, bend the arm slightly and flex, okay?
Okay, make that big, sh show us the beach the whole time. All right, because it'll be, it'll be big if it's relaxed and then we tape it here and then she expands it with the, with the bicep flexion that could compress it. Whereas if she's in the biggest position as possible with the most girth with that flex, will give us more space. That's from that comfort standpoint to, um, so we're not constricting circulation. So all we here, do your anchors, same as before with the knee. Make sure we got these wrinkles, so make it just, it doesn't have to constrict anything just yet. This is just our anchor. Once or twice coming around. Okay, once you come out to our first X, flatten it right here and post up. Okay, now make this, stretch that out. There's one, one half the X. Come around all the way. You can go across one whole way. Okay, and then come back up. All right, and then there's our second X. So there's some right here. All right, this one doesn't restrict very much, so let's add a little bit more flexion, okay? Come all the way around here, okay, all the way around. Come out, bring it around here, okay? Compress that. Um, on her, we could use two inch, all right? So two inch or three inch is good. We just don't have any two inch. So probably two inch would be more appropriate. All right, like the thinner tape. Thick offensive lineman, okay, to uh, 90 pound gymnast is, um, we just do it just so, we just finish the roll, pretty much, all right? And this is from a logistics standpoint. We just do like three and we have a little bit of a roll left. That roll's not gonna be useful for anything, all right? Maybe tape ends on the football squad. That's lovely. But um, we just use the whole thing. And in here, could make it a little bit tighter. I feel some restriction, but I'd wanna make it a bit tighter. When that happens, we can do it again if you want. If you guys want another <coughs> demo, that's fine. Um, I put it right around here and put the X's there. Because the elasticity of the tape is gonna then still expand and then we could get an expansion up to here. All right? So again, the principles is, is the line marks here, bicep to upper forearm, all right? Once you make your anchor, make sure there's these wrinkles. But then once you make your X, then um, really, really straighten that out. Okay, um, and if this happens, which happens, or if this happens, we want to make it tighter. We don't have to take it off. And if you just want more support, what we do in the football games is we'll have this. Okay, um, and then what we'll do here is I'll make some more X's here. So since the athletic tape or zinc oxide doesn't expand, you see how I'm not going all the way around. It allows for expansion. So what you can do is just come out here, bring it out here, just bend it again. Okay, come out here. Not that much wrinkles. Okay, so from here, that was a horrible wrinkle. Take those wrinkles out, and there's more restriction there. Okay, for football games, what we do is, um, again, if you're familiar with Luco tape, okay, it's uh, brown tape, very, very tough, extremely sticky. Um, it's so strong, but it's 11 bucks a roll. So I don't use it every day. For games, again, we want extra support. I'll do a couple of X's with Luco tape. All right, and then after, let's do a couple more so we see some restriction. Come up, here's our fan, okay. Coming around, okay. Test that again, and we got some restriction again. And again, here, we're not getting that much restriction, again, at, right here. So you need that to stick there, okay? So just when that's done again, then you can just close off and just redo the X's. Does everyone see that? I just don't wanna waste our roll of tape. All right, so any questions with that? So again, for, for the exam, you don't have to do these X's. All we wanna see is just a continuous one with elastic tape. This is just if you want more support once you actually go into the field, if you ever use this ever. All right, for the exam, just continuous. What we're gonna look for is make sure there's wrinkles here, all right, okay, on, on the muscle bellies for the out to, ex, to expand. Um, not too many wrinkles, you won't get enough lots with the elastic tape, all right, and we wanna just see some restriction here, all right. So this is, this is one case, is this here, it's, on the, it's not on the skin. If it was on the skin, I guarantee you, we'd have some restriction there, all right. But again, she's not sweating and whatnot. If we took that off, well, we take a couple, we take a, a, a layer off. All right, just that elastic tape gets really sticky. All right, so um, 
yeah, any other marks we take off, um, yeah, if it's too high or too low, all right, so make sure your line marks are there, point for line marks, mid belly, upper forearm, okay, good X, all right, wrinkles here, around here, and restriction there, okay. If it's too tight, we'll see, we'll see the veins come out, all right, we'll see redness here, all right, so if there's, there'll be marks for that, and obviously for too loose, all right. So here I'd be like, you know, my taping partner, I don't want to, you know, irritate the skin, let's just do this. Okay, great, that's fine. If, if this is fine for practice, so be it. For your exam, Sabrina, I see this, not much restriction. I feel some, I take about half off. So with this um, tape job, you're looking at maybe three and a half, four out of five. Okay, so paid off for me a little bit better than that. Okay. <laughs> But that's our elbow hyperextension. Would the shop, the, like the, the end of your wrinkly tape, would you take off? Good call. Good call. All right. Didn't see it here because these are already covered. Okay. One goal of the teacher is you always want the student to become the teacher. So well done. Well done, Joseph. Okay. Um, so sorry, I forgot it just because it wasn't, uh, it was covered by the zinc oxide. But again, every, every elastic tape principle cover that a tape end up, all right? So if we closed off here, it would be a tape end, all right? And the thing with this one is um, make sure it, when it's during, during warm-up, this will stick. If uh, you got to do this mid-game and um, a guy comes up, they have a hyperextender, we do it, I'll spray, I'll try and dry up as much as they can, but they're already sweating. A lot of times the sweat will soak through the tape and this tape end will come up, all right? So what this happens a lot is, um, then if you just want to close one end off, then you just do one, uh, one um, strip around, triangle light, and just go all the way around, then the tape end will stick. It will, won't expand, but you're only doing one layer. Do you understand what I mean? One layer is enough that it's not going to constrict anything, and it'll stop the tape end from coming off. All right? That's if you got to do it like mid-game, mid-practice because of the sweating a lot. If it's during pregame, there's no sweat, then those tape ends will stick. You guys see that? Okay, so again, an FYI. All right, so again, there's another mark. Make sure you cover that. Every elastic tape job you do, cover that tape end up with uh, zinc oxide. All right, and zinc oxide is the athletic tape. I get that question still. Week six, I think. <laughs> zinc oxide, what's that? It's white tape, okay. All right, so um, any other questions? No? How far should she be able to extend? Yeah, it, how much restriction are we? Um, for the exam, we want to see maybe the extension up to here. Okay. So extends about, gives us around 20, 15 to 20 degrees of flexion. Okay. If, it, if you want to do up here, that's fine. All right, just tell your story that, hey, um, my partner's an O-lineman. <laughs> All right, but we don't want to see something crazy like this, all right? <laughs> and we don't want to see it just coming out like that. Okay. All right, so usually 15 to 20 degrees of where they come out like this, all right? If she wants to do max, it'll straighten it out for sure, but just like here, we can feel it. And then when Sabrina and I come out here, we can feel the tension. Yes, um, 10 minutes into practice, um, it's gonna loosen up for sure. But when we do the initial, we want to feel that tension. And again, you do this in the field with, in, with a team, Make it right here. Make this crazy tight like this. As she sweats, it's going to come up to where we want it. If we put it to where we want it, then she sweats, it's going to become useless 10 minutes in. All right? So again, with that principle, with any tape job, you want to make it snug, all right, but never too tight. We want to make it snug here to, it'll get to where we want it to be because of the sweat factor. All right? Any other questions? No?